have to go up to Virginia City this morning, or this afternoon, I should say, and get my driver's, my license plates renewed. And it's nice weather today, so that's why I'm doing it today. Well, this is Virginia City. It's about 14 miles from my, my town of Venice, over the mountain. This is the Ruby Valley here. Some of these old homes uh, up here on the uh, hill here were purchased from Sears and Roebuck. And they came out west in a kit, which is unbelievable. There's our courthouse. It was built in 1870, 1876. Going back down into the Madison Valley now. Let's get busy sculpting. Time to play with some clay. Now, pardon the uh, shakiness of the video, but I'm just get, I, I'm up at three o'clock. Actually, it's four o'clock now. Uh, in the morning, and I had this idea, and I had to get up and sketch it out. And I'm sort of plotting it out. I'm not going to put a hat on them. I like the fact I want them standing with wind blowing from behind, like it's pushing them towards their future. And uh, he's going to be. Probably having suspenders and, you know, wrinkles in his shirt and stuff like that. The, the, the blanket will be somewhat over his shoulder. I may have his hand up here holding the robe a little bit. I think I might have his arm around her, which will be under the blanket as well. Her hand is... is uh, holding the robe uh, tightly against against the back of her head. And uh, not sure how I'm going to have her hair, but I'm, I'm going to have them both looking in that direction. And uh, I think uh, I think it's going to be a, a neat uh, design. I don't know. I'll work it out. But I, I just had to get up and, and do a little sketch of what I was thinking of this morning. And... Uh, so I did. All right, back in the studio. And uh, by the way, I've got a video that I'm going to attach at the end of this video that I shot on June 5th, 19, uh, 2011, a uh, trip I made up to uh, uh, Virginia City showing some of the uh, sites up there. So you might uh, stick around till the end and watch that. That's a pretty interesting video. Anyway, I'm going to increase her head length and I'm going to do that as I have her next to him so that I can make sure I get this right. I got two bucks laying out there in the uh, yard right next to the yard that's next to my studio. Does that make sense? 40 degrees outside, so it's probably pretty warm for them. And they're just laying there, just relaxing. There are two does off to the right. You can't see them and one uh, to the left uh, who's chewing on or chewing on grass <laughs> whatever grass there is there anyway that's an unusual sight to see two bucks together like that oh that's a nice looking buck anyway let's get busy sculpting here alright I'm back in the uh, studio and I'm working on the uh clay i've uh, increased her head length and now i'm just uh working out the features of her face uh, this is going to be a real short video today uh, only because going up to virginia city and getting my license tags took a lot longer than i thought it was going to take and uh i'm just running out of time i'm not going to be here tomorrow so uh it'll be monday before i'm back but uh 
Everything's going to work out fine. I'm just going to have to increase her shoulder width a little bit, but that's just adding clay to it. I won't have to redo the arms at all. I uh, just have to, you know, adjust the length of the arms and all that stuff. But uh, I am going to be using this uh, drawing that I did, and this is a copy of it that I printed out this morning. And uh, I'm gonna, I, I've got some ideas about how I can better make it even better, but uh, we'll just have to wait till next week to, to work those out. And I apologize for the short video, but that's what happens sometimes when things don't quite work out. All right, everybody, have a great night. I'll, uh, oh, and stay tuned for that uh, video of Virginia City. It's a really good one. All right, good night, and have a great weekend. Now this is uh, the other side of the building that they hung the men in and it has a model that you can actually look at and uh, it shows how the uh, men were hung in this building. Uh, the rafter which you can see right there it's exposed in the ceiling is what they hung them from and they hung it looks like one two three four five five men. And it was before the, this building was finished, and this is the way it would have looked when they were hung. Pretty amazing the history of this town. Looks like the old sign that may have been attached to this building at one time it says Hanged 1864 here. George Lane, Clubfoot George. In fact, they've still got his foot in the museum here. Uh, petrified. Uh, Frank Parrish, Hayes Lyons, and Jack Gallagher Boone Helm. We're all hang, hung here in 1864 from that beam right there. That's pretty amazing when you think about it. Look at the way they got the uh, roof supported. They got a log wedged between the rafter to hold the rafter up. Pretty amazing the way the rafter goes back in there. That's the original uh, building. And you can see the hewn log there. You can let's see if I can get it on. A, you can see where the axes have ased the uh, wood or chipped away the wood on that original log. This is the uh, hangman's uh, building. Uh, soon after, well, about a year after, uh, in 1865, after the hangman's building uh, was completed, and uh, it was a drugstore. And this is the uh, hangman's building now, outside. The sounds are a little bit different today than yesterday, yesteryear, but uh, the buildings haven't changed all that much. That's the uh, Pioneer Bar over there. And this is Rank's drugstore. This is Cousin's candy shop. Usually they got taffy being pulled there. Some of the best taffy you'll ever eat right here.
This is looking in one of the old stores, and a lot of this stuff was just left here in the stores. I mean, look at that doll. I mean, I'm trying to block out the sun because I can't get in there in the bed. And then the one in the uh, little wagon or cart. And the one over here. These little tin turtles, a little xylophone. This was a, an old store annex from 1863. This is another store. It's almost like looking at ghosts from another period of time. This is the way it's been for the last 20 or 30 years that I've been here. Everything's just exactly the way it was when I first moved here in 1989. Long handle underwear on the shelves for kids it looks like. Undergarments for, I guess, kids. Let's see if I can get the sun off the mat, the thing here. Just amazing, shells are still stocked. Kid knows how to ride a horse. In this uh, building, they, through the window, these items were discovered behind the chimney cabinet along the eastern wall immediately to the right of this window. That's pretty amazing. Look at that old stove in there. This was a dress shop at one time, but it was also a saddle shop. Well, the building was built in 1863 originally, and the living quarters were in the back area, and then it became a dress shop.
back to my car now. It's like walking through history up this street here. Look at that old faded sign, dry goods and notions. Well, that's going to be it for today. Pleasant Sunday afternoon in Virginia City. Little wisps of the past still whispering. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.